And what is up, awesome people? So December is coming. Remote ID will take effect onto all UAVs that is above 250 grams for those of you who are based in Singapore. In this video, we're going to look at setting up the BRID for your UAVs, including those drones that has the built-in remote ID. Here we have the official BRID from Heron Airbridge and it is two versions, one with the battery and one without. I think some of you may be struggling with setting up of the remote ID, so I hope that you find this video useful and helpful in any way possible. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. First, download the Airbridge app on Google Play Store or the Apple Store. Turn on your BRID device. This is the one with the battery. And for the one without battery, you need to plug it in with a USB-C just to give it a little power. Open up the app. You need to log in with your email and password. Now I've had one already created that I've named Hello Everyone. Click Assets in the middle. What you need to do is click on the plus sign at the bottom right hand corner. It will open up into this Add New Trackers tab. And here you're going to key in the name of your drone or UAV and key in the serial number that is written on the box as well as the pin number. You also need to scan the QR code which is beside the serial number. Once it's done, tap on the UAV and you'll see three dots right at the bottom. Tap on the three dots and click edit to make any changes on the name of the UAV. To enter the operator ID, click on this icon right here. Tap on any of the UAVs. That will bring you to this tracker details window. Click connect. That will bring you to this tracker details tab. And of course, you need to modify your UA type, so click modify and change your UA type to whichever type of UAV that you're flying. Next, we're going to click on modify on the operator ID and that will bring you to the tracker details of the operator ID where you will need to key in your operator ID which can be found on the UA portal as well as the private secure key. For information of your operator ID, you need to log into the UA portal and that is where you register your drone. Click on BRID and that will bring you to this page where your operator ID as well as the private secure key is being displayed. Do note that your operator ID is assigned to the account that you use on the UA portal. Once complete, your information should be displayed all onto the app. Next, we're going to look at drones with built-in remote ID. To check if your drone has the built-in remote ID, do go down to the CAAS website and check and see if the list of UA models is within the ones that you have. Now this site is often updated as it is constantly under review. If you have a UAV that has a remote ID built-in, you can check in with CAAS and let them know about it that they may add that into the list. Connect your drone to your radio. On the top right hand corner is three dots which is the settings. Go into the settings, scroll all the way down until you see remote ID. If you do not see the remote ID, then do update your Fly app. Click onto that and it will require you to enter an operator registration number. And the operator registration number can be found on the UA portal which I have shown earlier in the video. Key in your operator number. Don't forget to include the dash as well. And that's it. Now we've actually tried this with the Mavic 3 Pro even though it is on the CAS website, we had difficulties getting the remote ID to work. So you might need to have an external remote ID just in case. Next we're going to look at FPV users like the Avatar 2. First connect to your goggles, open up your settings and under UAS remote identification, click that and key in operator registration number and that is your operator ID. Just paste your operator ID and there you go. You're all set. Now I hope you find the information useful and helpful and if you have any questions, do check out the CAAS website in the links down below or Heron Airbridge also in the links down below. Big shout out to my buddy Aerial Bits Media for providing the information on the DJI Avatar 2 as well as the Mavic 4. So that's it for today's video. If you're liking this content, do check out my other videos and uh, do give a like and subscribe. Till the next one, thank you all for watching and see you guys again soon. Ciao!